Uh, and I'm just loading up to get out on the ice uh, tomorrow morning. I've had a few questions on my uh, sled build. Take a quick look at it. This is the Jet Sled Heavy Duty XL by Chappelle. Um, it's pretty hefty. I, I forget what the weight is. This, this thing weighs in around 30 some, something pounds, 32, 36, I don't quite remember. But it's pretty heavy. It's got beefy uh, sidewalls, strong bottom. It can hold this tub right here. But <clears throat> with all my gear, I got probably, uh, I got a new, I got the new Otter Vortex Shack this year. That weighs like 40 some pounds, 46, 48 pounds. Um, the sled itself, like I say, it's over 30 pounds. So with all my gear all in total, probably, you know, you're talking over 100 pounds, probably fully loaded. Get out of there, get out of there. These are just some, uh, I don't know, 12, $15 skis I found at the, thrift shop. I ended up uh, punching a couple eyelets through the tips of the skis to pull it. So you're pulling, you know, up on the sled. Because if you have it uh, up top here, it's going to make it harder to pull. So these right here are furniture lifts, furniture brackets. You see them on like coffee tables and, and things like that, shocks. So I'm just gonna lift up on it. Boom, out it goes. That right there's the shock. So it's got these two braces. I just, being the HD, the heavy duty unit, um, I mean these, like I say, very sturdy sidewalls. I first had it attached to a different sled my other sled, I determined with all my junk this year, was uh, just too small, so I'm keeping it for a backup for a second sled when going out with a few people or whatever. Got this one. Also, the good thing about this one is the jet sleds are a little more boxy, so this bracket sits fairly flat on there. I just stuck a couple washers under the bottom to uh, kind of tip it out so the skis are laying more flat, level to the ground. Watch this, just lift up on the side. Boom, there it goes. So it only goes this far back. You can see the stops right there. It will not go any further back. You can put a lot of force on it. Um, I'm not gonna do it one-handed, but to drop it down, probably the easiest way is just to step to the back, put your toes on the back of the skis and then just pull the, pull the sled backwards and it'll lay right down flat real easy. <clears throat> but these lifts were rated at, uh, each set is rated at 150 pounds. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I, I seen this video, I seen somebody else use this uh, idea in a, in a video. I only found one video of it, but a few people had commented there and shared that video around other people have tried it and says it's worked well for them haven't really had any issues with skis on it of course pulling it uh, you pretty much got to pull it straight it's hard to turn a sled with any skis so if if I were uh, in a little deeper snow I'd want to kind of lift up on the front to turn it because I wouldn't want to put too much force on these braces fully loaded or if you're you know pulling it behind in a sled or a snowmobile or whatever uh, you wouldn't want to put too much side force on those although they are pretty pretty stout i think it's gonna work pretty well i could see these you know if i guess get into some wet snow and it freezes up or whatever i would imagine they might temporarily freeze up or whatever but fits well in the back of the truck. Um, obviously when you, when you tip it back and lay it down flat, the skis stick out the front more, so it makes it a little bit longer. But I've got a, I don't know what my, I got a short box five, I don't know what it's five foot, five five or something like that. And it barely fits in there. And uh, I can keep my cover on, although right now I'm getting loaded up. 
uh, ready to go in the morning. I'm um, going to a lake. I've been fishing, been catching a lot of big bluegills. Um, there's a few decent, there's a ton of crappie. Most of them are small, but uh, I've been looking at the maps. I want to get way back in the back side of this lake and find some of them deeper pockets in the weeds and uh, get into some better crappie, hopefully, because <laughs> it gets quite a bit of traffic out there. But if I can get back there, I think I might do a little better, but I got the snow dog all loaded up. I've had this thing since they came out. Um, actually did some promotional work and stuff like that for the company. So I've had this for quite a while. Made quite a few videos and things with it. Still runs awesome. Start fires right up every time. Got just enough room for my sled in here. And then the snow dog sled can sit right up on top of it, um, inside of it. So I may have to leave the tailgate down. Uh, we'll see. Either that or I can stand it up, slip the other one in there. Got room. Snow dog is very easy to load. Just got a single ramp there. So, pretty sweet setup this year. Get things loaded up and head out in the morning. Anyway, that's my sled. We'll see how it uh, see how it works this year.